Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex and Binary Option. My name is Damien Levy. Forex Broker Review, IC Market, True ECN. In this lesson you will learn. I will try to cover all areas about trading with them based on the facts, showing you proofs of what I say as much as I can. Funding of the company, legal documents, regulation, account types, deposit, withdrawal, spread, slippage, swap, support, asset, trading platform and tools, copy trading, leverage and finally affiliation program. I try to make it as complete and honest as possible. There is a gift at the end of the video. When did the company start it? IC Market is an Australian based, owned and ASIC regulated true ECN Forex broker. The company is operating since 2007, which means that the company have more than 10 years of experience. It's a good sign of stability and safety for your money. A weak sign will be 2 to 3 years only. Then it is regulated in Australia. In my point of view, the United Kingdom and Australia are the most trustworthy in terms of regulation about Forex. It's only my point of view, but I trust them more than the SISEC for example. True ECN. To remind you quickly. ECN, Electronic Communication Network, means basically that the broker doesn't trade against you and transmit your orders directly to other liquidity provider and financial actors. This means that there is no conflict of interest between you and the broker. He pays himself on commission and the more and the longer you trade, the better for him too. So it should be a win-win situation, if you win, they win too. So from my point of view, you trade in safer condition with them. The problem is that a lot of brokers claim to be ECN, but aren't really. And to be sure that they are, you need to take a look at the document you can find generally at the bottom of the welcome page of their website. The documents that only few people will care to read. Those documents are legal and tell the truth most of the time. Those documents are the terms and conditions, the financial services guide, the privacy policy, and the product disclosure statement. It is important that you read all of them since your hard-earned money is involved. Now let me show you how to find them with IC Market and where is written through ECN. So this is the welcome page of IC Market. When you go down all the way, you will see those document, terms, financial service guide, product disclosure statement, and the one that interests us for the ECN to be sure is this one. So you open it, then you go to the article 4.7, right here. Pricing model. IC Market offers its CFDs based on a modified direct market access pricing model through ECN Electronic Communication Network. So this is a legal document, CFD PDS, and if it's written there, it means most of the time that's right. You can also check the regulatory authority in this specific case, they are regulated with ASIC. This is the ASIC. You will go and search our register and you will select search an organization. And here you will make the name International Capital Markets. Then you have all these results. And actually the only one result you have about International Capital Markets is the first one. So you click on it. And this is the website of ASIC, the regulation authority. So as you can see, you have international capital market, the number of registration and the status is registered. If it's written here unregistered, you have a problem. So it's not the case. So all is good. Let's come back to the presentation. Verification of your account. I recommend you to verify your account before you deposit any money and this practice is not with IC Market, it's with every brokers. 
When your account is validated by the broker, you receive a mail that proves regarding the law that you can withdraw any money you deposit. And the broker has no legal right to hold any withdrawal that you can make. This way, if they do, you have a proof that your account is validated and you can use the law to get your money back. To verify your account with IC Market, you need a photocopy of your ID or passport and a proof of residence, electricity or bank statement. Deposit and withdrawal The minimum deposit is $200 for your first deposit. Once you have opened one account with them, you can deposit less for other accounts. Let's see together the funding page where all the deposit options are. So here is the funding page. And for example, you can deposit by credit card, PayPal, Neteller, Skrill, Union Pay, wire transfer but with your bank, BPay, FASA Pay, Broker to Broker, Poly, Thai Internet Banking, Bitcoin Wallet, Rapid Play, and all this. So there is quite uh, a lot of way to deposit in your account, which is quite nice. Then, what is important is, if you found a trading account when you open it with a specific way, like Skrill, you will need to withdraw using this way only for the rest of this account life. If you want flexibility in your withdrawal method, simply open different trading accounts using different funding platforms. This way, you can make a transfer inside IC Market between two trading accounts and withdraw the way you like. Let me show you an example. You found, for example, three trading accounts. One with Skrill, one with a bank account, and the other one with a credit card. Then, depending on your result and where you want to withdraw, you switch the money from one trading account to another trading account. Then you withdraw with the account Skrill if you want Skrill, with the account bank account if you want bank account, or with the account credit card if you want withdrawal by credit card. That's as simple as that. Withdrawal time. From Monday to Friday, it takes usually one day for IC Market to process the withdrawal, except when it is wire bank transfer, it takes a little bit more time, two to five days, I think. They don't process withdrawals on Saturday and Sunday, like any banks, so anticipate this. Deposit is instant. Here is my screen statement for the withdrawal proof that I show you and I hide my personal info by security. So this is my statement for the current month and the last month. And as you can see, there is a lot of IC market transfer accepted all the way. And the good point, as you can see, is you can withdraw very little amount, two to four dollars, and you will not have any fee when you withdraw your money from IC market. And when you deposit, you don't have any fee either, which is another very good point. Let's come back to the presentation. A little bit outside of the topic, but inside the money topic. For fast withdrawal, if you use Skrill or PayPal, you can connect what is called a mobile wallet. This is offered by most mobile operators in most countries. They connect a Visa or a MasterCard to it usually, and it's also connected to your mobile number. And it's like a mini bank account. The positive side are, it permits instant withdrawal 20 seconds on average, usually from Skrill or PayPal. The fee is very low, lower when you withdraw your money from Skrill or PayPal than if you go to the bank account or a credit card. Usually it will be 4% fee. With this specific uh, option, you will pay only 2% fee. So it's a very nice tool. Now the negative side. The limited amount is $2,000 maximum on average. For country where the salary is less than $400 per month, this will not be so much a problem. So it's a mobile wallet and it can be connected to Skrill or PayPal. Accounts type available. A regular account. In this account, you will pay a regular spread and no commissions. And the other one is a true ECN account, the one that I like the most. With this account, you will have no or little spread to pay depending on the market conditions. And you will pay a commission. The commission is $7 per lot traded. You pay half when you open a position and half when you close it. Note that their commission will be a bit cheaper 
when you use CTrader as a trading platform. You can get a discount on the commissions once you trade more than 100 lots per month. Those are the details of the commissions. So depending on the currency, the price change, GBP is only 0 0.025, but on average it costs around $7 per lot traded. Spread. There is a spread even with a true ECN account, because the market doesn't always agree on the buying and selling price, and this gap is the original market spread and it can't be avoided. You need to know that sometimes the spread widen when the big boys make their stop hunt and also at the end of the trading day when all markets are closed and there is only few liquidity in the market. This fact happens with every broker as I know of. If you lose a trade because of that matter, you can't blame the broker. This spread element can easily trigger your stop loss and make you lose a trade. Let me explain to you on the chart. Ok, you can see on my chart two lines, two white little lines above the counter. Those lines represent the spread, and as you can see, sometimes the spread gets bigger, sometimes the spread gets a little bit lower. The spread moves all the time, depending on the market buyers and the sellers. We are on AudioSD on the 1 minute chart, so you can see the spread is very little with this broker. So what happened during the day? You can't see it now. But during the end of the day, for example, the two lines are here, right here, the liquidity will not be enough and the difference between the buyer and the seller might be, for example, uh, right here and right here. And it can absolutely go beyond that value and this value is already 4 pips on my chart. But sometimes it can go above 30 to 40 pips. So, for example, if you have placed a trade, and I will place, for example, you have your entry line right here and you put your stop loss right here, like 2 to 5 pips above. I will put it in red, so you have your stop loss. And the price go in your favor. I will define the price going in a blue line, so the price go down. But at the end of the day, now I will represent my bid and ask line. The bid is here, for example, and the ask go all the way up and trigger your stop loss. But the, the price really didn't move so much. But it put you out of your trade, just because there is not enough liquidity in the market. And between, for example, 23 hour uh, GMT and 0 hour GMT, uh, it might make gap in the spread as big as that. And as I told you, sometimes it can go until 40 pips. So you will have less gap like that in the major pairs like Euro USD, the major pair. The major pair are Audio USD, Euro USD, GBP USD, USD CAD and USD CHF and USD GPY. But on all the minor and exotic pair, you might have a very big gap at the end of the day and your spread might increase very drastically. So you have to be very careful about that. And I would advise don't place any trade when it's nearly the end of the day. If you don't have enough time for this trade to move in your favor, and if you have a very tight stop, it's not safe at all to open a trade at the end of the day. And this happens with every bo broker, so you can't blame IC market because it will happen the same way with every broker. I hope this explanation is clear. Ask me in the comment section if you have any more questions about that. So to protect you, first be extra careful during the end of the day, as I just told you, when you enter a position. Second, use a spread indicator so you can monitor in real time the spread activity on your chart. So let's come back to the chart, I just show you how it is. So you have two types of indicator, like a bid and ask line indicator, like this one on my chart, this, those two white little lines show you exactly the bid and the ask line, those lines when they separate, so it's a nice indicator, or also what you can install is a spread indicator. So I have a short key to make it. Okay, so this is a spread indicator. You can have access to this spread indicator in the comment below, there is a link where you can download it. And the settings are not uh, very complicated, huh? the font size, where you will find it, and that's it. And so this is, at the bottom, my spread indicator, 
and it speaks to me in micro pips so now right now the spread on AudioSD is 0 0.2 pips 1.2 pump it means 0 0.2 when it's 10 it means there is there is one pip spread and it shows you in real time if the spread increase or decrease it can be very nice during the day so when you place your trade you see if the spread is regular or if there is a very big uh, difference in it and it's a very big volatility and it can be dangerous for your stop loss so it's nice to have this indicator on your chart by security let's come back to the presentation so those are the screenshot of the spread page on IC Market website so as you can see for the true ECN account the spread are really really uh, little it can be zero and on average it's 0 0.1 for euro usd which is very nice the major pairs are very nice to trade because the spread is very very low and if you take a standard account you have on average one pip more than the true ecn but you also have to know that the commission represent most of the time one pip so the difference between the true ecn and the standard is nearly the same in terms of uh, what you pay to the broker it can be just the spread or it can be the spread plus the commission but they equal most of the time one pip so it's nearly the same but the true ECN assure you a security that your order will be placed anonymously into the market to an anonymous uh, liquidity provider which is what I like to have as a trading conditions the spread on other pairs as you can see when we go, for example, on CAT CHF, which is a minor pair, the spread increased even for the true ECN account. And the exotic pair are the same, they increase also. Now let's look at the slippage and the swap. It is a gap that happens at the end of the day or during the news event most of the time. Sometimes the news triggered so much money that the price jumped from one price to another and this can make you enter your trade at a totally different price if you had a pending order placed for example at $115 to sell and the news happens and triggered your sell way below like $0.95 once again this happens to every brokers and you can't blame them for that that's simply the way market behave during such event but from my personal experience with IC market before I was trading with another market maker broker and I compared with a friend of mine who was already trading with IC market and the slippage I mean the difference from my entry point and where I have been really entered in the market was around 20 pips during the news and my friend who was with IC market had only 8 pips slippage with IC market which means it was way 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 better with IC market than my market maker broker so that's why also I trust IC market sometimes it can also trigger your stop loss in a very bad manner making you lose two or more times what you intended to lose at the first place on this trade so to protect yourself from this universal element you should always take a look at the economic calendar i have made a tutorial about it in a previous video introductory about forex the link is below in the description to be aware of the impacting news of the day second thing you can do to protect yourself is to be prepared to have slippage if you trade the news and place your stop loss wisely so let me show you quickly an example about yesterday because yesterday there was a news interesting so let's take a look at yesterday because yesterday there was a news on usd and it was interesting to see so let me open for example okay so here is the news on usd jpy and for example if you trade the news you might have placed your entry i will make the entry in yellow right here in a sell direction as a breakout trade and you might have put an entry right here as a buy position so the buy didn't trigger but this sell triggered and as you can see it's a one minute chart and the candle is very big so sometimes due to the slippage the price goes so fast it doesn't trigger exactly at your entry with the broker it's impossible for them to do that so they trigger you where they can where the the market permits them to enter so aside of being triggered right here you might have been triggered your entry point right here which is a few pips below sometimes it can be way more than that if the news is very fast and jumpy in this case we talk about our entry point if we trade a breakout 
but let's see another example. Now you are in a position. Let's say you entered before the news and my yellow line is your entry point at this level. And you have a stop loss. I will place my stop loss. So for example, if you have sell this, your stop loss will be right here. And if you have buy it, I will make it in blue. If you have buy it, your stop loss would have been below like that. So during the news, the same happened. Uh, the candle was so fast that it couldn't trigger your stop loss where it was. And aside of that, it triggered your stop loss maybe here. But if it triggered your stop loss from here to here, it's nearly two times, you know, one time your loss, two time and two time and half your loss. So in this trade, you intended to lose, for example, $100, but in fact, because of the news, it has been triggered so much lower that you lose $200 and maybe more. That's what can happen during the news. That's what we call slippage. It can go in your favor, but it can go against you. And you can't hold the broker responsible for that since it happened with every broker. I hope this explanation is clear. And once again, let me know in the comments if you have more questions about it. So last word about the slippage to protect yourself. Be aware of when the news happen. And if you open a, a trade before the news and it will be a very impacting news, I advise you close your trade if the price is close to the entry of the stop loss or the stop loss. Then we have what we call the swap. This is the difference of interest value from one currency to another. It means every time you hold a trade overnight, you pay or you win the difference in interest between the two currency of the pair. It is universal once again and sometimes you pay it, sometimes you earn from it. The broker can't be held responsible once again. Scalping possibility. IC market offers awesome trading conditions. When I realized how great were the trading conditions with them, I was very happy. When you place a trade with IC Market, you can set your stop loss very close to your entry, around 1.5 pips only. And the target can be set very tight too. Which means the scalper, trader who profit from very little movement in the market, are welcome to work with good trading conditions. For a lot of other brokers, you need to have a minimum of 10 pips between your entry and your stop loss. This can be a problem with this specific trading style. Let's look at it with a real account example live. So we are on USDGPY. I am on the one minute chart. So you can see and I will enter a trade with 0 0.01 load just for the sake of the example. So I, I buy right now. And as you can see, I can put my stop loss only 0 0.7 pips below. It's even lower than 1.5 pips. And you can play with that as much as you want. It's not really a big deal with this specific broker. And the target, you can set the target profit wherever you want to. So this is really, really awesome trading condition. Account ideal size. True ECN. This means also that the minimum of your trade size is 0 0.01 lot, which means that one pip with this specific size will equal on average 10 cent of dollar. This has an importance. The true ECN on one hand permits you to trade in the real market anonymously, which is safer for you. But for your size, it has a limit, especially if your account size is little like $200. From what I have learned so far, the most reliable strategies are made for the higher time frame. Daily, weekly, monthly. The higher you go, the more reliable it is. The big investors use mainly those time frames. And when you trade those time frames, the distance between your entry and your stop loss can be quite wide, sometimes over 200 pips. So if you have a $200 account and start with the safer strategy, which is position trading, which trades the weekly chart or the monthly chart, and you have a stop loss of 200 pips, it will make you put at risk 200 pips multiplied by the volume, 0.01 lot, which equal 10 cent per pips, which equal $20. With this trading style, one trade will equal $20 at risk and $20 divided by your account size $200 equal 10% at risk 
so it will be complicated for you to take those kind of trade because you will put at risk 10% of your account each trade which is really really too much. So a quick reminder about safe trading practices. You should put at risk 2% of your account maximum per trades. If you want ideally to be able to trade any trading style starting by the higher time frame you need to be able to make 200 pips weighting no more than 2% of your account. Let's compute now our ideal account size in this ideal situation. So $20 divided by 2%, which is the maximum size you should put at risk, equal $1,000. So when you have $1,000 in your account, if you take a position with 200 pips stop loss, it will take only 2% of your account. Of course, it is in a perfect world and with daily strategy, still reliable ones, I would say $500 is a good amount to trade comfortably because your stop loss won't exceed much more than 50 to 100 pips, which means 5 to $10 at risk per trade. Support live chat. So far, the support is very reactive. Just click on live chat to chat to them quickly. I'll show you an example right now by contacting them live. So. Once you are logged in, you just click on live chat right here, put your email and click enter the account number and enter. And that's it. Someone is ready to, to talk to you and it took maybe two to three seconds only. But there is busy time on the day where you will have more delay before talking to them, sometimes two to three minutes maximum. But on average, it gets really as fast as that before you get to talk to someone from IC Market. So it's a very efficient one. So far, they have addressed all my issues in one year trading with them. If the live chat can't help you, it will redirect you to the service that can. Asset tradable. You can trade with them 60 currency pairs, all the major, the minors, and a lot of exotics. 17 indices, for those, they take a spread and no commission. 19 commodities, energy, agriculture and metals. 120 plus stocks from ASX, NASDAQ and New York Stock Exchange. Available for MetaTrader 5 platform only. 6 bonds and 10 cryptocurrencies. And 4 global futures. Trading platforms available. MetaTrader 4, the most used trading platform worldwide that give access to the largest asset of indicator and expert advisor, robots for trading. The negative side of MetaTrader 4 is it can be manipulated by the broker. MetaTrader 5, the update of MetaTrader 4 but not as much used because the indicators and expert advisors used in MetaTrader 4 are not compatible with MetaTrader 5. Both MT4 and MT5 are available on mobile phone, but I don't recommend so much to trade with your phone. CTrader Suite. CTrader is a nice trading platform, less subject to price manipulation from the brokers and MetaTrader 4. And with IC Markets, you have access to all CTrader platforms, whether for computer or mobile phone. Copy trading and other options. IC Markets permits you to connect to MyFX book, for example, to get a lot of analytical tools there and share your trading results with a large community. You can also connect your account to Zulu Trade when you meet the requirements for this platform to whether copy other traders or be copied by other traders. With CTrader, you can also access to CTrader Copy or Mirror. Those are two different ways to copy someone else or being copied. Personally, it's my preferred copy system. I have made a video explaining about it in the link below. Trading tools. IC Market offers programs to manage account if you are a licensed account manager. They offer also free VPS if you trade more than 15 lots per month. If below this volume, they will get you 25% discount to a panel of VPS providers. They also provide other trading tools like Expert Advisor, Trading Manager, and so on. Leverage. You can choose a leverage up to 1,500 for your trading account. 
which means if you invest $200, you will be able to trade for $200 times $500, $100,000, which equal to one lot volume maximum. It permits to trade comfortably without margin call troubles. Still, I advise you to place 2% maximum per trade, and if you do so, a low leverage will never bother you. Affiliation program. This broker has a partnership program when you refer a new customer, like every Forex broker. But they reward the person who refers a new customer based on the volume traded by this new customer. What does it mean? You see, some brokers will reward the person who promotes them based on the money the new customer will lose and sometimes they reward only if the new customer lose money. This practice is clearly not a win-win situation and it incites the person who promotes the broker to make you lose your money. IC Market rewards its affiliates based on the volume traded, not your losses. So it means the longer and the more money you trade, the more the person who promoted the broker will win money. This is a win-win situation which incites the person who promotes them to make you win money and keep you trading on the long run. So to summarize this lesson, I have tried to make an honest complete review of IC markets here without hiding any negative sides. If I have forgotten something, don't hesitate to let me know in the comments. I won't review again all the elements here since this video is quite long already. But I believe this broker is among the best in the industry even if no broker is perfect. This broker is my personal choice, that's why I have made a complete review of them. They offer the best trading condition I have experienced so far and that's why I am happy to share them. That's also why I have no conflict of interest promoting them since my core goal in this YouTube channel is to educate with knowledge that will make you win money, not lose. Additional to that, when you become my affiliate with IC Market, to reward your trust, contact me on Telegram and I will be happy to give you some useful free teachings and tools to help you to become profitable. The link to contact me is in the description of this video. To finish, this video gives you the key elements to see if a broker is a trustworthy one or not. So don't believe only my words and make your own opinion. The purpose of this video is also to teach you how to choose a good broker where your money is safe. This is the end of the lesson. Subscribe to my channel to receive a notification whenever I post a video. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. If you have any constructive feedback or if you want me to do a video on a specific topic of trading, write a comment below, I will appreciate. If you need free signals for binary option and forex, you can join my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the links are below. I provide my analysis on more than 30 pairs every week, plus alerts and signals in real time. If you are serious about trading and you want to learn to become profitable, I also propose two complete courses. One on binary option and one on forex. More than 10 hours of teaching each. Some are live with me, some are in streaming. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous successful student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market. It's a true ECN low spread and commission. Regulated in Australia, their link is below. Bye everyone.